Hello, welcome to the Mark Janot Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to detect a credit card skimmer. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. So how to detect a credit card skimmer. Fortunately, credit card skimmers are physical, often bulky apparatuses that you should be able to spot, though they may not be initially easy to distinguish. A few seconds of sleuthing is all it should take. Some skimmers appear uncannily official, whether they are a simple extension inserted into the credit card reader or an intricate shell that covers the entire terminal. However, upon closer inspection, you'll notice something does not look right. The strip reader is at a funny angle. The buttons on the keyboard are off center or hard to push. The easiest way to detect a credit card skimmer is to yank, pull, and tug. Yes, it's, it sounds caveman kind of, but that's how, what you have to do. Before you put your card into a point of sale terminal, wiggle a few parts of the machine to see if anything is loose. You should also compare the terminal you're using with those nearby. For example, if you're at a gas pump and notice that your card slot extends an inch or two farther than the neighboring pump, it's best to keep your card sheathed. Also, be mindful of sketchy areas because that's where it's the probability is higher. So how to avoid card skimmers? As a rule of thumb, stay extra alert at gas stations. Again, sketchy areas as well both at the pump and inside the convenience store and at ATMs. Whenever you enter your personal identification number, your PIN, cover the keypad with one hand so that any discreet cameras won't catch your activity. Even if you're a reputable store, it's possible for criminals to pop a skimmer onto a terminal. Worse yet, some prop proprietors may be in on the scam. Could you imagine? Some proprietors may be on the scam. Some technology exists to help you avoid fa falling victim to skimmers. For example, Skim Reaper is a device that serves as a test credit card. Insert Skim Reaper into a credit card terminal before your actual credit card, and it will tell you if your card is being read more than once. If so, it'll alert you that a skimmer is present. The practice takes as long as swiping a regular card. As always, don't let anyone touch your card unless absolutely necessary. There are scenarios though in which it can be virtually impossible to keep your card safe. At restaurants or in fast food drive throughs for instance, a server or cashier can take your credit card and disappear from your site. Right? You go with your boo thing, you go with your family, you go to the restaurant, time to pay give them you don't know what they did with it right and that's dangerous in my opinion so one way is to invest in an identity protection membership one example is identity guard it sends comprehensive notifications of data breaches and high risk transactions and it monitors the dark web for you because again they take your information where you think they're running to it they're running to the dark web selling it for a profit you'll also get 1 million in identity theft insurance so what happens if a credit card is skimmed when when you know the the, the, the consequence happens a successfully skimmed credit card gives the theft a few options they can use your card data to make online purchases they can clone your credit card information onto a bank card and use it as their own. They can hawk your data to someone willing to buy stolen card info. And nowadays, you know, you have the incognito market, the dark web, things are booming right now. Skimmers can especially <laughs> can be especially devastating in the case of debit cards because these cards don't have the zero liability for fraud that credit cards provide. Zero liability means that victims of fraud will almost certainly not be responsible for purchases they didn't make if reported in a timely fashion. With a debit card, once the cash is moved out of your account, it's likely gone for good. So that is what I have for you today in this video. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe. Let me know your opinions. See you on the next video.